everyone. Yay. Uh, welcome. Uh, we are the creators of Devon Think for Historians, a set of online classes that walk you through key Devon Think features uh, that share tips, tri tricks, and scripts to help you save time while using Devon Think, a very powerful database software for historical research. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, uh, Thanks for subscribing to the channel. Lots of people have joined us since we last posted months ago. Um, and we're really grateful. Um, so this video is actually to kind of share a little bit uh, with you about where we've been and what's kind of coming up yes. in the future with the channel. Um, so Ada, why don't you tell us what you've been up to? Yes, it has been a little longer than we either one of us anticipated, um, but exciting things have happened. So the first exciting thing with respect to the course is that we transitioned to a new course platform. And thankfully that transition was smooth. Um, so if you previously, excuse me, previously purchased the course, you should have received some email communication from us about how to access everything on the new platform. But if you have any issues, feel free to re reach out to us via email and you can contact us via the Devon Think Historians uh, website and the link is also in the description. And then in addition, since our last video, a more personal side, I had a baby, a fabulous little girl that's been fantastic. And um, thankfully I'm sleeping a ton more in recent weeks. So <laughs> <Yeah>. exciting <laughs> things have happened for the course and, and, and privately for me as well. Yeah, we we uh, we are so happy to have this new little data boss uh, on our team. This little nugget, uh, <laughs> Roto database user. Um, so it's been Almost. really, yeah, it's been so lovely um, to kind of. Uh, I feel really grateful to have kind of um, been along for the journey with you to to watch uh, the little the little baby come into the world and and start to grow. Um, so I have uh, nothing quite, quite so exciting to report. Oh. Um, I um, have, however, relevant to our work uh, on, data, on Devon Think for Historians, um, I've started a new historical research project. Um, about a year ago, I kind of got the idea or the, um, I should say like the germ uh, <laughs> um, of, of the, um, topic. Uh, and I have spent the last year kind of slowly pottering away on it. And I've finally gotten to the point where I'm like, mm, you know, we get asked a lot about, um, you know, what does a historian's database look like? Yes. And so I think, I think one of the things you'll be seeing um, coming up on the channel is videos uh, where first of all, kind of introduce y'all to the project yes. <laughs> like this is, this is what I'm talking about um, <laughs> and um, then we'll go into subsequent videos and show you um, what the database looks like at this very early stage of the research mm -hmm. um, and how I've started to use tags and groups um, to start organizing um and building, oh, and links to a lot of links to start, um, you know, building this web of knowledge as I start to wrap my head around and understand um, this uh, topic. And um, so hopefully that will be of, of use to you all. I'm sure it will be. I, I have had a little preview, I guess I should call it. And I think it's a fascinating topic. And I also think the database that you're building is cool and will be a very cool example of all of the things that DevonThink can do and a lot of the things that we talk about in our course uh, modules. So I think it'll be great. Um, and in addition to this new series of Abigail's fabulous uh, new project, we have plans for upcoming videos that share tips um, that we haven't covered before. And so these new videos will assume that you know a little bit about DevonThink. So if you don't, uh, it now's a good time to check out the software. And if you want some extra help, check out the course. Yeah. So, um, the, these videos won't duplicate Dev and Think for Historians. No. Um, they kind of like are they are a departure, um, yes. or like a that it assumes that's your starting point and um, kind of moves on from there. Um, but if you've not taken the course and you are you sort of learned how to use Dev and Think on your own, totally great. You yes. know you should be able to that like this 
uh, should be very accessible information to you. For sure, for sure. So um, our first uh, little tip that we want to yeah. share with you okay. is um, I'm going to share my screen. Uh, where are you, Devin? Thank you. Here you are. All right. Sure. You see that, Ada? Yes, I can see it. Excellent. So um, if you um, go in your dev and think, um, pay, you know, window to the uh, menu uh, bar on the left side, mm -hmm. you'll see four icons at the top. And if you click this last one, which is three dots, it will take you to tips and tricks. Yeah. And uh, the great thing about this is Devon Technologies is regularly updating this space with these really helpful explainers. Um, some are more relevant to his, you know, the kind of research that historians and qualitative researchers do. Um, some are a little bit more uh, for like a business use case, mm -hmm. but, you know, we all have different needs and workflows. So sure. check them out um, on a regular basis. Um, you can scroll through them, um, but you can also use the down arrow and um, more quickly. So if you know you wanna revisit one of them that was from several years ago, you can kind of navigate this way um, by going straight to the tip in the dropdown. Um, there are also, um, something helpful if you're not super um, good at keeping up to date with your updates, all of the <laughs> releases are listed here. So if you're awesome. like, oh, I think I haven't updated in a while. Oh, here, this should help you figure out <laughs> uh, where, you know, where you should be. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, there's, as you can see, some other um, stuff that's uh, housed here and we'll mm -hmm. talk about some of it in upcoming videos but first wanted to show you um how to uh find the tips and tricks i know um you know i think when you download dev and think it, it shows you this or you know when you sometimes if you haven't disabled the um menu not menu the, there's like a box that appears when you open the program yeah. um that some of you may have disabled um, long ago, um, <laughs> but I leave it on because it will often show you some of these tips and tricks. Um, so for those of you who you know haven't seen this in a while and have you know forgot that it was there, I hope this encourages you to go check out some of the tips and tricks. Uh, and for those of you who are unfamiliar with uh, this little uh, slice of um, the platform. Ta -da. Ta -da, yes. <laughs> Enjoy. Um, It'd be fantastic. Really oh, sorry. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a fantastic treasure trove of useful information of features and templates and all sorts of things that um, are in there and quite powerful that might otherwise be overlooked. So I'm excited to dive more into some of these tips and tricks in our future videos. Um, and so if you're interested in watching any of these upcoming videos with the tips and tricks or Abigail's currently top secret, but soon to not be top <laughs> secret anymore project. Well, it's not top secret because I just if you, if you saw uh, before oh. you the tips and tricks, that's the database. Ooh, <laughs> so, now there's, uh, an Easter, yeah. there's an Easter egg in our video. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Something we didn't <laughs> anticipate. Um, but yeah, so if you're interested in any of those videos, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel. We'd love uh, if you'd hit the subscribe button and maybe the uh, the like button as well. Uh, we really are grateful for you to for watching and for joining us on this journey. And we look forward to seeing you next time. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye. <laughs>